Ah yes, it's that time of year again. And nothing says holiday, like freshly marked down merchandise, am I right? The 40s, the 50s, the 60% sales on pop guns, bicycles, roller skates, and kales? Checkerboards, tricycles, popcorns, or pinwheels? Or do you just love some deals? I'm sure we've all been there, boasting about how amazing that deal was and how much money we saved on that 52-inch TV or pair of shoes or whatever. It happens to the best of us. But is it the new gadget that makes you happy or the great deal? Because Kit Yarrow, a consultant and consumer psychologist, says that it's the latter. She says customers are caring all too much about the price of an item instead of valuing the item itself. Before 2008, stores naturally would put items on sale at, say, the end of the season. But now there are sales through every single part of the year. Fourth of July sales, semi-annual sales, weekly sales, you name it. There is a bargain to be hunted. Stores changed the psychology of shopping when they appealed to the cheaper needs of patrons during the recession. And one Nielsen survey shows some people like the hunt for a bargain. The researchers say shopping a sale can trigger the same parts of the brain as love or drugs. The mere action of walking into a store can get your dopamine levels going, but much like a real addict, you go home with feelings of guilt because like maybe you don't really need that game console even though it was $100 off and you wanted it, sort of-ish. Shopping increases activity in your nucleus accumbens, the reward circuit of your brain. You anticipate purchases and you get excited about them. And according to at least one study, excessive prices activate circuits associated with anticipated loss. You feel bad that you didn't buy it and you didn't even buy it yet. The sale though, that's a whole other thing and stores know this. Yarrow suggests there's a greater chance of a person buying a product if they feel like they've saved and can walk away with satisfaction at their bargain. Again, it's not about the thing. Even if the product is marked up and then the price is cut, you're still happy because you believe you saved, mom. Basically, these sale prices are trying to convince you you're spending less than you actually are. And that's not really the truth. Don't let them fool you. Next time you go shopping, try paying attention to your emotions about the thing you're buying and not the deal you got. You know, check yourself before you wreck your credit card statement. Hey there, deal seekers. Why don't you take a moment and subscribe? It doesn't cost a thing, like my love. I know I got fooled into it, but want to know how video games trick you into spending real money on fake stuff? Julian has that here. Funny thing, bargain shopping can actually be passed down. So my mom's love of a good deal could have corrupted me too. Just pay attention, you'll be fine.